Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel today's video as you guys can see from the title We're going to do a what I eat in a day. I'm starting this video out a little bit late I'm starting it at like one o'clock I'm definitely going to have to do like lunch dinner and then I'll wake up tomorrow and do breakfast And then I'm also gonna have a video coming up soon where I do a what I eat in a week And so once I'm done with this video I'm literally just gonna record all of the meals that I eat for an entire week just to give you guys a little inside because I know a lot of you I mean, it's January everyone's gonna be starting their new year's resolutions and all of that stuff so I definitely want to help out and share some of my crazy life hacks and my healthy recipes and all of that so we are going to start off with lunch so I went ahead and I actually cooked yesterday I like to meal prep that is like my favorite thing in the entire world and if you guys don't meal prep highly recommend it I think it just it just makes your life so easy especially like if you're trying to eat healthy so this meal here is from HelloFresh they're actually sponsoring today's video so if you've never heard of HelloFresh I'll give you guys the a little quick rundown. They're basically a food subscription box. So they come directly to your door and everything is individually packaged. And what I mean by that is it comes in a little bag like this and it's labeled. So for me, I always get the big one just so I can meal prep. They offer a bunch of different recipes. You can do low calorie, vegetarian, you can do family friendly. And it just cuts down on all of the stressful meal planning. You could do like intense meal planning. I like to just make it as easy as possible. And you don't have to stand in lines at the grocery store or anything like that. It just comes directly to your door and you make a amazing gourmet meals like look at this obviously I'm gonna have to heat this up because I made this yesterday this is incredible I'm gonna put up on the screen the three meals that I had this week they are so incredibly delicious and super easy to make they make like I think it takes me like maybe 20 30 minutes I'm just gonna quickly throw this in the microwave for maybe like maybe a minute and a half it's super easy for my lifestyle this is so flexible to everyone you can obviously like everything is individually portioned so you could just make it every single night if you wanted to or like I said I'm just a meal prepper and even if you guys aren't really big at cooking I know I'm not I like things to be fast and easy I'm not trying to like spend two hours trying to cook anything they give you a recipe card that just lays everything out and makes your life so much easier it's literally like it's dumb proof, I promise. It is so easy. They lay everything out step by step, exactly how you're supposed to do it. And if you guys are interested, I do have a coupon code for you. Um, if you use Courtney Rain 80, I'll put some more information down in the description box. But you guys can get $80 off five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. So check that out down in the description if you're interested. But let's see how this tastes. I definitely made a little bit of a rookie mistake because they gave you like a Tuscan heat sauce, but I was like, ooh, maybe I'll put cayenne pepper instead. So I put cayenne pepper in here and it's a little little too spicy for spaghetti but it does taste really bomb just a little spicy okay so today um i definitely have a lot of stuff i need to do i need to edit a podcast so if you guys didn't know i have a podcast called ordinary girl that i do with my roommate it is the funniest thing ever we basically just talk about super hilarious but also super traumatic things that have happened to us the funniest podcast in the entire world i'll link it down below if you guys just need something they're quick they're like 20 minute podcasts and they tell hilarious stories. Like we got COVID twice in my house. And so we talk all about that in the podcast. We talk about the first, so keep in mind the first episode, we were still figuring out audio. It's a little rough, um, but that happened. And so if you really care about good audio, I'd probably skip the first episode, even though it is such a funny story. I hate that the audio is so bad. So we talk about that. We talk about our worst date stories, our most embarrassing moment. I had a pregnancy scare as a virgin. It was nuts. And so um, all of that stuff, we talk about it in the podcast. I'll link that down below. And this is like not, I know this is like so off topic for what this video is all about, but I wanted to show you guys my little DIY. So this here is just a little corner in my bedroom. It's super messy, but I DIY these little shelves here and they are so cute. I wanted some place where I could just put my everyday makeup, my glasses and my skincare, just boom, bam, but it's also out of sight, out of mind. This area is just, it's really messy right now, but I wanted a little corner where I could have my robes. I can have my slippers. I'm also wearing slippers, um, but I wanted something like that i have like a cute little rug i also have all my makeup here this is gonna go it's my filing cabinet what up <laughs> right now it's around 4 20 and i might be snacking it's the worst it's almost an addiction at this point like i love sour patch kids and i'm trying to practice self-control because everyone and their mother gave me sour patch kids for christmas because they know how much i love them and normally i would eat this entire bag but this bag has lasted me like four days so 
I'm doing good. I'm practicing. I just finished cleaning my room. I got a couple of things done, ran a couple errands, came back, cleaned my room, and my room looks bomb. Obviously, like, I didn't, like, fully make the bed, but I, like, deep cleaned all of the floors. I took everything out from underneath my bed. I swept, I dusted, I mopped, all of that stuff. Over here, we got my cute little nook. Looks like a lot better than what it did. I think it's more like actually clean. So maybe it still looks like a little like messy or whatever, but like it's clean. Like I went through, I swept, I mopped, I wiped down the baseboards, I wiped down the walls. Like it is clean, which I'm super excited about. Um, but I love this little area because it just makes me so happy. And it's like a really cute place for me to actually put on my makeup and everything. I got all of the ingredients for dinner. Sorry, this is on, so you're probably gonna hear it. But these are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for dinner. So we have some chicken and then I'm gonna make some like chicken green bean tomato pesto which you guys have probably seen if you guys have been watching me for a while and then I also have a sweet potato I'm not gonna eat this whole thing maybe cut it in half and have half of that the last time I did one of these videos you guys wanted me to walk you through how I actually make the chicken broccoli or what is it chicken green bean tomato pesto meal because you guys actually wanted to know how to make it rather than just like what the heck is in it i'm going to show you guys i use a little bit of olive oil vegetable oil this is avocado oil and i just put that in my little pan this is like the easiest thing ever at the same time i'm going to take another pan put a tiny bit of oil in this one too this pan here i'm going to dump some green beans these are already clipped and ready to go so I'm gonna leave these green beans on here for a while. I'm actually gonna put a lid on it just so it can sizzle there for a little bit. Over here, I'm about to put the chicken. The chicken I always use is pre-cooked chicken. I have been starting to dabble in like raw chicken and how, like, how to cook all that stuff because I'm starting to learn that this stuff does not like reheat well. Cause usually I would like meal prep it all, get it all in my fridge, but I'm realizing that this like doesn't reheat well. It's great if you like just have it now, but if I want to put it in the fridge and eat it in a couple days, it's just kind of nasty. It's gonna be a little bit loud with all of that going on, but now for my sweet potato, I'm gonna wash it. I'm also gonna cut it in half because I'm only gonna have about half of this. I'm gonna puncture it with a fork and then wet a paper towel, wrap this in the paper towel and put it in the microwave for about five minutes. I got these done. I definitely think I put a little bit too much oil in the green beans. Sorry, the lighting is like not cute. Hold on, let me try to fix this. Maybe this will be better. Eh. So I have my green beans in here. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of pesto, two tablespoons to be exact. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm going to cut up the chicken, put that in there, and then I also just cut up some tomatoes. We're gonna mix it all together. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I think the chicken kind of fell to the ground. Yeah, you could definitely see that there's chicken in there. This is one of my favorite meals to make, honestly, because it's four ingredients. So if you're a college student or you just don't really know how to cook, this is the perfect thing. Um, you could also add rice to this because right now we have a protein, we have a vegetable and a fat because the fat is like the olive oil. We don't really have a carb to this. Um, so you could add bread to it. You can add rice. You can add quinoa. You could put noodles, whatever you want. Good morning, guys. I'm about to make breakfast, which is probably my favorite meal out of the entire day just because I get to have avocado toast. I have it every single morning. I always have avocado toast, some sort of a fruit, and then I have um, coffee, but then I put a protein shake inside of my coffee so that it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like protein coffee. I feel like it's just healthier than like regular creamer. I wish I could say that I do something super special for coffee. I really don't. I get this, I get these grinds from Smart and Final. Super easy, throw it in my like little reusable Keurig thing, and that's it. Well, that's brewing, I'm gonna make my avocado toast. I am way too proud of this, <laughs> to be honest. I love avocado toast so much, and I feel like I've perfected the art of making like the best avocado toast. So this is everything that goes into the avocado mix. So I have my half of an avocado over here. I always put turmeric. This is great for like inflammation. There's also a bunch of other health benefits. I personally just don't taste it. That's why I do it. But I also am gonna have onion, sesame seeds, garlic, and poppy seeds. So I just put all of this stuff in here. I don't really measure it, but I don't taste turmeric at all. It just has so many great health benefits that I always throw it in here. And then you throw in some poppy seeds some garlic, sesame seeds. I can't tell you why I put onion in here, but <laughs> I think it tastes good. So we're gonna throw that in there as well as a little bit of salt. And then I just mash it all up in here. 
This is what it ends up looking like. This avocado toast looks amazing. And then I also cut up some apples because I always have a fruit for breakfast. But now I need to show you my coffee recipe because that is probably my favorite thing. It is such a life hack. So we have our plain coffee, nothing too special about it. But then this is where my life hack comes into play. I take this protein shake or just any kind of protein shake. This one is flavored in caramel. It has 30 grams of protein. It has one gram of sugar and 160 calories. And I'll usually use, honestly, I don't really like measure it out too much, but I just use this as my creamer. So that way I'm actually getting protein in my coffee. I've tried other like protein coffee things and this one for sure tastes the absolute best. It tastes like I put creamer in it. It, it doesn't taste any different, but then this way, um, I would probably say for what I just put in here, I probably got like maybe like seven grams of protein. And like I said, one gram of sugar, it's pretty low in calories. This is such a great option. It also has 24 vitamins and minerals. It says low fat. So it's definitely a great healthy coffee alternative. So this is what it looks like all together. This is like my go-to every single day breakfast. I love this stuff so, so, so much. And even the coffee, sometimes I make this throughout the day. Obviously I'll have it in the morning, but then I might have it at lunch or something because it's great. It has protein in it. So it's like almost like you're getting a protein shake, but you're also getting some caffeine in there too. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. I would really, really, really appreciate it. It just helps me out a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I love you guys and I'll see you all later. Bye.